Hello. Um, today, I'm standing here with three quarters of the data team. We are missing Maria, who's in Iceland, probably watching football, maybe. Um, but here's Sven. And Sven, what made you want to work uh, at Clue? Um, I guess loads of companies are working with data, mostly um, e-commerce companies, for instance, are working with data, um, game companies are working with data, and most of the data-related questions are mostly target targeted towards, um, okay, how can we increase um, the e-commerce value of the user? Here at Clue, it's a bit different. Here can, we can analyze um, okay, the perspective we have um, for our data. Clue is a bit bigger. Um, the motivation is just a bit bigger. We are like more um, interested in um, what you can do for the users. Hey, Jon. You are director of data here at Clue. Just moved from Iceland. Yes, it's and exciting. How do you think about what data can do for female health, like on a really big scale? I mean, the sky is the limit. Um, it's, uh, <laughs> it's, it's, it, it's really fascinating. Um, it's both fascinating from the standpoint of how little has already been done because um, we've gotten, you know, we have the tools to uh, learn a lot from data and you see uh, like everywhere everybody's talking about machine learning and deep learning and AI and we haven't really applied it yet to this particular problem and uh, helping women uh, get to know their bodies and themselves better is, uh, it's a worthy problem to solve and uh, we're just getting started but I'm really excited about all the pos possibilities. And um, Daniel, what are some of the things that you actually have been working on already at Clue uh, using data to advance female health? We have some research collaborations. Collaborations are really interesting. Um, we're having this huge trough of data that hasn't been there before. Like if you look at studies that have been done, they are lucky if they have 200 or 2,000 participants. And we now really easily reach millions of users and um, that gives us access to a new scale of data that will enable us to answer questions that we couldn't answer before. So and what do you think is some of the contributions that Clue can do? Like what are the things that we might help women understand that they didn't understand earlier? I guess it depends on where you are in the world. Um, in Germany, um, loads of women have access to um, gy gynecologists in other countries in the world, like in Brazil or in, um, in, in Mexico, it depends on where you live, obviously. You don't have access to gynecologists, and so we can give users, um, women, loads of information about their cycle. And we can use data to actually improve that and to improve um, the information we give to the users uh, or to automate that even um, the, the information we give to the users. So I guess that's one big contribution, um, especially in countries where access to, um, yeah, to doctors is not um, as spread as in developed countries, for instance. That's exactly true. And Daniel, one of the things that we have been trying to do recently is to help women figure out if they maybe have um, different health conditions. Can you talk a little bit about how data has been important to figure out if a woman might have something going on that she needs to go see a doctor for? Um, yeah, that's actually a good example for the scale of data we have access to because we to, to, to tackle that question, we send out a survey to our users and we could easily send out a survey to 200,000 people and get... Um, ask them very deep questions about their health and get feedback on the health conditions and what kind of symptoms th they are suffering from. And so we could correlate these symptoms with these conditions and I think this will uh, lead to some really exciting f features for Clue in the future. That's amazing. So I'm really excited to see what data can do for female health and I'm really appreciative of your contributions. That's fantastic. Thanks. Looking forward to it. Yes.